In Texas, high school football is king. And in San Antonio, for more than 60 years, there's been one voice behind the call of all those games every Friday night. Smith looking to throw downfield into the end zone. Gotcha. Touchdown. Gary DeLon. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary DeLon. I've been doing high school football in Texas for 56 years. And today we're visiting one of the most historic stadiums in all of Texas, the old Rock Yard, Alamo Stadium. A graduate of the University of Oklahoma, he got his start in Dallas at the radio station KLIF. As a 30-year-old police reporter, DeLon developed his sources and broke one of the biggest stories in American history on November 22, 1963. The phone rang. It was a hotline right here, red phone. I said, Gary DeLon, KLIF News, can I help you? What do you know about shots being fired at the motorcade? This KLIF bulletin... From Dallas, three shots reportedly were fired at the motorcade of President Kennedy today near the downtown section. KLIF News is checking out the report. We will have further reports. Stay tuned. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy. That's how, over the last six decades, how I've broken many, many stories because people trusted me. They knew I would not violate a confidence, which I never did. Days later, he delivered a live report from the basement of the Dallas police headquarters and described the chaotic moments as Jack Ruby shot Lee Harvey Oswald to death. Police officers and the sheriff. The shot rang out. The shot has rung out. And Lee Oswald falls. DeLon's booming voice and ability to paint a picture with his words took him all over Texas. In the late 60s, he was the PA announcer at the Astrodome. He called play-by-play -play for several pro and college teams. And he found his way to San Antonio in the 70s, covering the city's newest pro basketball team, the Spurs. Bad pass, who, who was he throwing that to? He threw that halfway to Babcock Road. DeLon eventually joined the Ken's News team covering sports and news for 28 years. This is Gary DeLon, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. A broadcaster full of personality, DeLon always found a way in the middle of a story. Behind the police car, Smitty, how far can we go? Oh. All right. Just as he did in 1979 while covering the shooting at the Battle of Flowers Parade. Glass shards were flying over, over me as I was crawling along. That's where the shots originated. It was pretty scary. Police cannot get close. They can't get close to that no good sniper. DeLon retired from television in 1998 but never stepped away from the microphone. Oh, this is sky high. It goes up to the clouds. His passion was always with Texas high school football. It is the last bastion of sports purity. And, and it's, that's just why I love high school football. He called thousands of games for more than 60 years, both on radio and television. Oh my goodness, there's a great quarterback keep. He didn't have any play action, he just had the traction. They play their hearts out. They play so, uh, with great intensity and desire, and they don't do that on the pro teams. He paid the toll at the gate, and man, he had the highway to himself. His dedication to the game didn't go unnoticed. In 2015, he became the second reporter to be inducted in the San Antonio Sports Hall of Fame. Just one of many career honors bestowed upon him. There are three things that I learned early in, the, in not only journalism, but in life. You have to have conscience, character, and Christianity. If you don't have those things in your life, you're not going to get along very well. DeLon lived to be 88 years old. He continued to call games in his remaining years. 50, 45, 40, 35. He's down to the 34-yard line. He passed away in February 2022 and is buried at Mission Burial Park North. Gary DeLon, a San Antonio sports broadcasting legend and forever remembered at Mission Park. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.